Hello everyone, today we have fresh video review with absolutely new kit from Russian company Arc Models and as you can see this model will replicate uh, famous Katusha BM13 in 135 scale uh, so kit comes in this quite nice box here you can see comparison with my hand uh, on the side we have some short history note about the real uh, vehicle we also have here uh, some dimensions of the assembled uh, model so assembled truck would measure 193 millimeters and also kit consists of 230 parts uh, as you can see it's packed into the uh, plastic film so just give me a second to open it uh, this release is also notable because we saw uh, some prototypes on the Nür Nuremberg model show I mean toy exhibition and now we have a chance to check uh, final example final sample which would go to the shops around you and I have to say that uh, Arc models implemented really serious improvements to their molding processes and uh, also design processes and you would see it now so here what we have inside as you can see all sprues are packed into the plastic bags uh, those are sealed plastic bags so you would have to cut them uh, just give me a second to cut them or we can just no we can't tear them so it's better to cut them all parts are molded from thick grey plastic and I think that they should be easy to work with we would see now ok so here uh, first three sprues which are packed into the same bag bag is quite soft as you can see on the photo ok not three but four sprues are packed into the same bag here we have first one just let me zoom a camera for you and now you see it so here we have separately molded wheel hubs and wheel rims and as you can see those are molded quite carefully I mean I don't see any flash or other possible problems maybe you would have to make all holes round because as you can see some of them are not but other than that I don't see any problem you would have to do some basic procedures which you usually do with plastic kits but nothing special uh, then we have another plastic sprue uh, here I guess we have two sprues unconnected one to each other so you would find here some uh, various structure elements as you can see those are molded also quite carefully we have uh, let's say uh, attachment points aligned in smart uh, positions and also we have here uh, some other mechanical parts so this look more or less okay next we have another plastic sprue this one contains various parts for the uh, chassis and as you can see we have here even leaf springs molded in and overall it looks more or less okay here we have another plastic sprue again some suspension parts and also we have here uh, leaf springs which are molded separately I guess this would go on the back side of the truck uh, fourth sprue contains parts for the uh, front part of the truck we have here for example engine block parts as you can see engine would be assembled from two halves and also we have here uh, front grille, uh, steering wheel also the bottom plate note that we have some minor uh, flash on the fenders so you would have to clean it off uh, separately molded door by the way and here is the front side which would house uh, front glass uh, bonnet is molded in shut position as you can see you won't be able to open it but I guess some modelers would do it with some uh, let's say uh, modifications and here we have some other parts for the engine which are also quite carefully molded and look more or less okay to me Note that uh, here we have si uh, bonnet sides 
and they feature this nice uh, molding which replicates cooling flaps and another plastic bag again I need a second to open it I wonder why Arc model doesn't use sealable bags because those are much easier to open and to pack. Maybe because of the price reasons, let's say. So we have here another bunch of plastic parts. Notable feature is that wheels, several wheels are placed separately and several are packed into the plastic bag together with uh, transparent sprue. So be careful, check those parts before uh, purchasing the kit because uh, they can be damaged, they can be scratched. And here you can see wheels. Wheels are quite simple. We also have here uh, push marks, but from the other side we have uh, writing on the wall and also a nice tire pattern. So I guess with some weathering and some extra, let's say, work, these parts should look okay. Here is small box. I don't know where it was attached, but it was broken off. Uh, then we have these nice parts, which are, as you can see, molded in much better quality. I don't know why, maybe it was molded later, maybe these parts were designed with different technology but as you can see even those tiny mm, frames are molded in good quality. Then we have two similar sprues. Uh, those are absolutely identical. They contain uh, rockets and they contain uh, the special rocket uh, stands. The famous feature of the Katyushas. And I guess assembly will not be difficult because all you would have to do is just to assemble the rocket uh, with its uh, wings and that's enough. Last but not the least is a sprue with a uh, part which would serve as a bottom for the rocket stand, rocket launcher stand. Also we have here various transmission parts and suspension parts, here you can see them. Molding quality is still on the good level, so I don't have any complaints here. Maybe small signs of the flash, but um, here I don't see them. Flash was present only on the previous sprue. Again, one broken off part, so be careful, check kit before purchase. Assembly manual is placed on the bottom. It's printed on simple A4 uh, paper sheets. So as you can see on the first page we have short history note. Then we have uh, assembly process explained straight away. As you can see it's printed in black and white. And here we have marking option. Which is only one. But I guess modelers would uh, let's say invent something to make their Katyusha a bit difficult, uh, different. And here you can see a uh, color table with uh, paint numbers provided in Hobby Color, Akan, and also Federal Standard. So that's all for the video review. Don't forget to check full review article on our website as usual. And I would like also to advise you to subscribe to our YouTube channel and like our Facebook group. Thank you for watching and see you soon.